So it's eight in the morning. Um, I've kind of did that silly thing because I've had a sort of rough night sleep. But I think that's just because one, I was overtired. Um, but anyway, I've uh, switched the telly on this morning and there's a severe weather warning now in place. Um, what says it's kind of dangerous. Um, what's not so good. But looking at the map, it looks worse around sort of this area than it does sort of more north. So I'm hoping I'm going to be okay. Um, I've just put literally the address um, in for the place I'm planning on staying um, up in um, Loch Ness and it's 290 miles um, so I've managed to get myself a cabin that's really really cool um, but it's 290 miles in potentially severe weather warning conditions um, so that's not so great but um, yeah so I'm trying to upload a video as well but I was at 22% it's been like that for a, I don't know an hour on it's got this had to take to get there but Anyway, as you can see, I'm quite knackered, but I need to sort of pack up sort of my stuff and uh, head off. It's that weird decision of do I rush to get off because of the distance I've got to travel or do I sort of settle back a little bit and wait for sort of the weather to pick up because hopefully it will get a little bit warmer. But um, I don't know. I'm going to make a decision in a minute and I'm going to just head off. But that's where we're at at the minute. Well, there's no snow out here, it's just wet, but this is the start of the 290 mile journey. So, let's just see how long this is gonna take. But hey, uh, we're off to Scotland. So an update, I passed the Welcome to Scotland sign, I don't know, 20, 30 miles ago. I almost ran out of fuel because I stopped at services and the petrol station was being revamped and closed. But I managed just to get to one now, I got some water, I'm going to get back on the motorway and see if I can head up some more miles. But yeah, we're in Scotland, just another 230 miles to go. should be telling you how much I'm a real biker and uh, how I'm in no pain whatsoever but my ass is in agony my hands are in agony oh, I've got 180 miles left to go yeah loads of signs are saying things like risk of ice uh, caution, low temperatures, it's like, I don't feel cold at the minute, I just feel battered, but oh, what are some miles, eh? I could be in Spain now, south of Spain and hire a scooter and be drinking sangria, I could be. <laughs> I didn't drink any water yesterday when I was traveling. I had a right headache last night. So yeah, water for a change. Oh. I suppose I better get going. Oh. Gotta get on with this. I've got about 85 miles to go. It's um, I managed to find the services well, a petrol station, but they don't have a toilet. So I've had to do the old cheeky thing of finding just literally someone's farm entrance and go for a wee in the bush. I'll tell you what though, we're getting there. I hope we can make it in time to see Nessie. It's gonna get late. I think the light's gonna start going soon. See? It's the same old, same old. This is my road diet. It's the healthiest food I can find. Pull over because I've had two things happen. My waterproof, the velcro's come off, 
the flew open, so it was a bit of a parachute for a minute. But the other reason, I hope you can see it on the camera, but all the like, mountain tops are covered in snow. Look at it. Wow, that is amazing. Just pretty, isn't it? All over pretty. Anyway, got to keep cracking on. We've only got 30 miles to go. The roads are amazing. I'm just in that much pain now. Oh, my ass feels like it's on fire. That's so painful. Good to see their grit in the road. Oh, oh if, if, I just got, it's hard to even describe when you get this much pain, but I mean, I'm not that far off, am I, from doing 290 miles, and I haven't really stopped, not properly, not for a coffee or anything like that again, I've kind of kept going, pulled over, had five, sort of five minutes, ten minutes, jumped back on the bike, so I kind of haven't given myself decent sort of breaks but it's gonna be like I don't know it's gonna be late by the time I arrive um, and obviously it's getting colder and the thing is as well I've got to go and do a food shop so obviously I've, I've got a cabin with nothing in it there's not like there's gonna be a restaurant so I've got to do all that and to do that I've got to empty the panniers because the panniers are full up etc 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 but yeah Oh. oh, anyway, I'm going to have a stretch and then I'm going to get going. So, <laughs> let me tell you the story about my arrival, because as you can probably see, I'm absolutely shattered. But, um, so I basically couldn't find a place and uh, went the wrong way and then turned around and back to sum up, because I got lost yesterday, I the postcode tried to take me down a lane and there was no signpost for this place that I could see. And I was like, I'm not going down there because I'm fully loaded and it looks like a little lane and I'm gonna struggle to turn my bike around. So I kept on going. And to sum it up, I turned around in two different roads trying to find a place and then I thought, bugger it, I'm just gonna go back to the postcode. Went down that like little lane and a little way down there, there's a right turn and then the place is there. So I found it, so I'm here. So, I arrived and of course I've got no food or anything sorted other than my all day breakfast, but I don't fancy that for tea. I've asked if there's a local shop or anything nearby and there's one in the town that's supposed to close at five, but the guy randomly closes it whenever he wants. So I kind of, um, <laughs> literally dumped the stuff out of my back box into the cabin and then I went to the shop and the shop's closed. So the nearest shop from there is about six, seven miles away and it's a petrol station stroke Londis supermarket. So at that point I'm like, I'm just gonna go there and get something because I wanna get back and settle. So I rode, and it's chucking down with rain, I rode in the pitch black, chucking it down with rain. Oh, and the other thing is a woman warned me that like deer jump out and it's really common to take it easy. Yeah, well I couldn't, I just bombed it there. Filled up the bike as well, because it's a petrol station, I'm low on fuel. Then it turns out you have to park the bike, you can't leave at the pump, so let them, it's not busy. So then I went into Londis, anyway I bought myself some, some, some what, what I class as um, single person food, because that's what they do. It's a microwave meal. You check out my amazing posh dinner, are you ready for this? Now, check me out, I am living the dream right now. That is 100% living the dream. 
Anyway, I got myself some bits, some croissants, stuff like that, but no fresh croissants, pre-made. Anyway, I got that. So let me show you the cabin. This is going to be base camp now. So this is going to be like four decent days worth, um, say four nights, three decent days worth of riding. And we've got a lot to sort of cover. But this is the base camp. This is where I'm staying. This is the cabin. Check it out. So yeah, we've got a nice kitchen. We've got a nice table. We've got a nice sitting area, we've got a telly, we've got a sky, I think she said it's only three view. Um, it's double bedroom, so this is obviously the master bedroom, this is what I'll be in, and then there's like a two single bed that's not exciting. We've got a um, nice shower, etc. Everything that you need for a, basically for a trip. Um, so yeah, that's base camp pretty much sorted now, and then I'll obviously grab food and stuff every single day. But anyway, so, um, we are literally a stone throw from Loch Ness. Um, and I kind of asked a question <laughs> to the woman. I said, have you ever, you know, have, have you ever heard like of the Loch Ness Monster? And of course she said, yes, of course we have. She said, um, I said, all right, I said, because I'm here to find the Loch Ness Monster. And she said, well, if you listen carefully at night, you might even hear Nessie. Um, we are literally, like I said, it is just over there. So it is not far away at all. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens with like with that, and we'll we'll go and check out Loch Ness during the day, and I'll get hopefully the drone and stuff up, um, and we'll figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow, right now, I'm going to enjoy a beer, and um, I'm going to get on with editing this video, and um, I'm going to get a decent night's sleep because I'm exhausted. Um, but yeah, what a, what an amazing long, huge long big day that we've just had. But at least now we've got base camp done, so we're here. Scotland, we are here. What's that noise? What the hell is that noise? What is that? I don't know. What is that noise? Was that? <sighs> was I dreaming? Oh, I don't know if that was a dream or what, but I just literally pooed myself. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I need. I need to get some sleep. I'm going to get myself some kind of protection. Um, that was just weird. <laughs> oh man. 